click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, here in this video we will have to do AC analysis of CC amplifier. What do you mean by CC? It means that common collector. So here in the common collector we will be getting the output at the emitter terminal and we are applying input to base terminal. So this is also called as emitter follower, right? हम लोग प्यार से उसे emitter follower भी बोल सकते हैं. This is because we are following, the emitter is following the input voltage. So that's why it is called as emitter follower. Let's do the analysis of CC amplifier. See here in this particular circuit, we have output at emitter terminal and I have placed RC purposely with value 0 ohm. So I have kept this value of the resistance RC is equal to 0 ohm. It means that your collector is directly connected to your plus DC source and your collector it means common to input as well as your output of the circuit and that's why it is also called as common collector amplifier and PR say emitter follower. We will follow the steps for AC analysis. Obviously before any AC analysis we have to go for DC analysis complete the calculation part of DC analysis, get the value of currents of the DC analysis Q point and then we will move further for AC analysis. So for AC analysis, so for AC analysis we follow the steps as we'll short all coupling capacitors and DC sources then we will draw AZ equivalent circuit and then actual we will follow from second step because this short all coupling capacitor and DC sources and then we will go for draw AC equivalent circuit. This is nothing to show over here. We will directly place VCC is equal to 0 and it is connected to ground. All the coupling capacitor CC1 and here CC2 is shorted. So we will draw the prototype of your BJT model with RE model. This is beta RE. This is beta IB, current flowing heels IB, this is base, this is collector, this is emitter, wow. Now we will place all the peripherals resistances at the base side. We will be getting resistance in the form of RB which is nothing but R1 parallel R2 connected to connected to input AC supply and here we will be getting the output across resistance RE that is emitter resistance. This emitter is connected to ground further and the collector is also connected to ground so I can get this connection and we will be getting the output across RE that is at the emitter terminal. Input is at base terminal. Collector is common to both that's why common collector. Here we will go for all four parameters. First is voltage gain. Here we will try to simplify the VO divided by VI by calculating separate value of VO and VI in the form of current. So our agent is remain same. See, agent is IB in your RE model, right? V pi is your agent in your R pi model, right? Again, IB is an agent in your H parameter model. So we will calculate using Ohm's law, that is one of the five fingers, remember, VO 
is equal to current flowing through RE that is emitter current. I can say that VO is equal to IE multiplied by RE. But what is IE? 1 plus beta times IB. I can also say that this is equal to IB multiplied by 1 plus beta times equation number 1. Great. Now we'll have to move to calculate the value of VI directly. Shall I get VI over here as well? Right? Can I say that in the same way as that of we have learned CE amplifier without bypass capacitor, we have got the value of RB as beta RE plus 1 plus beta times capital RE. Right? And we have got the value of ratio of VI and IB. In the similar way, we will use Ohm's law. We will shift this resistance RE towards base side such that this IB current and IB current will flow through resistance beta RE as well as 1 plus beta times capital RE. Then in that case, I can make the summation in the form of series combination. And then I can say that this is nothing but VI divided by IB, right? Mathematically, I will write directly from input side VI divided by IB is equal to RB and that is equal to beta RE plus 1 plus beta times of capital RE, right? We will be getting VI is equal to IB multiplied by beta RE plus 1 plus beta times capital RE. This is equation number 2. We just have to take the ratio of VO and VI from 1 and 2. We will be getting VO to VI is equal to what is VO? IB multiplied by 1 plus beta times capital RE, isn't it? Yes, simple. Similarly, here also we have got in the form of IB. So, agent, agent will get cancelled. Agent, agent, komardia, will be getting 1 plus beta, beta and 1 plus beta. These three also will get cancelled. This is because beta is very, very high. And in comparison to 1, I can say that 1 plus beta is nearly equivalent to beta. So, I can easily say that R e divided by small r e plus capital R e is equal to your voltage gain. So this is your representation for voltage gain for common collector amplifier. Now look at this particular expression capital R e divided by small r e plus r e. Generally, the value of small r e is few ohms and capital R e is in the form of hundreds of ohms. So, if we take this ratio that will never reach to the value 1, ideally it is nearly equivalent to 1. So, I can say that your output is getting at the emitter side and it is following the input that means whatever input I'm applying, I'll be getting ideally same as that of your output voltage. So that's why we do the Namakaran PR say as emitter follower. That means output terminal, emitter terminal is following your input voltage. So, right? so that's why we do the Namakaran as your emitter follower. You should give the answer appropriately in your Viva question. This Viva question will be there in your Viva. Next point we have to discuss as current gain. IO divided by II. Okay. See this very clearly. What is IO? IO is nothing but IE in this case. And what is II? II is nothing but current flowing to this. So we will differentiate it into two terms. One is I know that 
IE I can express directly in the form of IB. So 1 plus beta times IB that will be one expression first expression in the form of output current and agent current that is IB. Now we have to calculate the value of IB in the form of input current that is II. Here we will be getting the value of II. Okay. So your first expression that we will be getting IO is equal to IE is equal to 1 plus beta times of IB. So here we'll say that equation number 1 and I can say by applying CDR we'll be getting here it's nothing but RB current flowing IB beta into RE and this is your emitter resistance RE. I can express this in the form of R small b and by CDR we will be getting IB is equal to RB upon RB plus R small b multiplied by II. And with this, we will be getting the value of IO upon II is equal to RB upon RB plus R small b multiplied by 1 plus beta. And this is your current gain. Move towards the next part that is. output impedance. In the output impedance value of RO is equal to VO divided by IO. And the very important thing that we have to follow to calculate the output resistance is short input source. In previous videos we have directly calculated the value of output resistance just by looking at the output terminal. But here if we look from the output terminal then these resistances are also there into picture right. We have to follow the step that your input voltage should be zero such that how to get the value of the output resistance just by placing a dummy voltage source at the output side and then we can get the value of the ratio of the output dummy source divided by the current flowing through that source is nothing but your resistance right and that we will be easily getting just by looking at the output side before that we have to place this vi short circuit if we place this vi as shorted towards the ground then rb will be redundant and RB will be redundant. This VI connected to beta RE. This beta RE will be in parallel with this RE. But keep this in mind that I want to shift this beta RE towards emitter side now, right? As previous video, we have explained the shifting of the emitter resistance towards the base. In that case, we have to multiply 1 plus beta to capital RE. But here in this case, your beta RE, I have to shift towards the emitter side. So I have to divide this by 1 plus beta. So beta RE gets divided by 1 plus beta. Beta beta will get cancelled and this RE will be in parallel combination of capital RE. By shorting this input source, we will be getting this as beta RE. We will divide here itself directly 1 plus beta and we will be having output resistance in this way. From here we will be getting the output resistance. This is IO and we will place a dummy source that is nothing but VX. Okay, so your output resistance RO is nothing but VX divided by IO and that is equal to 
बीटा आर ई डिवाइड बाय वन प्लस बीटा विच इज इन पैरल टू द वैल्यू ऑफ आर ई सो हियर बीटा एंड वन प्लस बीटा ने एक दूसरे को मार दिया वी विल बी गेटिंग आर ई इन पैरल टू कैपिटल आर ई सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर योर आउटपुट रेजिस्टेंस राइट नाउ इफेक्ट ऑफ आउटपुट रेजिस्टेंस इज नथिंग बट आउटपुट रेजिस्टेंस विल गेट डिक्रीज बिकॉज वी आर प्लेसिंग स्मॉल आर ई ओवर हियर विच इज हैविंग वेरी वेरी लेस वैल्यू देन दैट ऑफ यूर कैपिटल आर ई सो फॉर सी सी एम्पलीफायर योर आउटपुट इम्पिडेंस इज वेरी वेरी लो द कंक्लूजन इज so the conclusion is low output impedance for cc amplifier next step is input impedance and that input impedance is denoted by ri we'll form a prototype of the circuit as this is rb as we have applied input here your value of ii i this is vi this is beta re this is re forget about from where we are getting the output we'll directly get the value from here that is ri it is same as that of your unbypassed c amplifier now this ri will become rb parallel r small b this is without source resistance if we put any source resistance over here so it will be a series combination of r signal and this previous ri so new ri will become r signal plus rb parallel r small b that is nothing but with source resistance input impedance so if we apply source resistance then your input impedance increases so this is how we have learned so far for cc amplifier emitter follower so we have concluded that for cc amplifier your input impedance is high your output impedance is very very low output impedance and your voltage gain is very very low your current gain is still high so these are nothing but the characteristics of cc amplifier are getting fulfilled by this ac analysis itself now in this particular video we have discussed so far input impedance output impedance voltage gain and current gain about cc amplifier hope so you have learned and enjoy this videos in the next video we have to learn so many complex numericals about ac analysis with bjt thank you so much for watching this particular video and we have to learn more and more adc along with complex numericals and concepts with ekda videos so subscribe like comment share ekda videos thank you so much